We're live. <laughs> Hey y'all. What it do? I am wifey. And I am uh Mr. Compromise. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Compromise. Hey, we out here compromising everything it right look now. Right, cause this is a whole setup, right? <laughs> we compromising everything for the brand oh. right now. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? But yeah, what's happening? This is the Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast. Brought to you by FNX Fit. And the Urban Access Network. Okay. You feel me? You think you got to hold that the whole time? Fam, I'm not doing good. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, you need help? I'm good. I'm just trying to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to try to tuck it up against this goddamn six pack. Oh. And we're going to see uh, we gonna see how it do, man. Right. You got them arms out today. Looking all nice. Why can't I hear? I, I can hear everything. What do you mean you can hear everything? Everything like what? Like the your background and everything. I guess it's just the room. Yeah, this is not a normal set. Yeah, okay. I, I hate it. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I hate it. You want to wait till we get home to do it? Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm not doing it. If I go home, I'm not doing this shit. Straight up. Yeah, work week going to be started. <clears throat> but Chad, we are reporting live from Arizona. From AZ. I kept saying uh, the A. I'm like, we in the A. Yeah, I forget you got to put Z on it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, beautiful weather. Oh. It's hot, but it's not hot as hell like they say it get. Yeah. Because it's that dry, um, hot. Like it's dry. It ain't, it don't have no humidity with it. Yeah, I don't know. It's different. I feel so, I'm, I'm telling you, we were sitting on the balcony and I was like, the wind just hitting. You know how, like, okay, if we was in St. Louis, you would have, like, a breeze. It's not going to make no sense to it you It ain't going to make I'm letting you niggas know right now. <laughs> it feels different. It's like a warm breeze. It's, like, not a breeze. I don't know. It feels good to get your skin. You don't get no chill. But anyway. Yeah. I don't know. It felt really good to me. It's a whole nother. I don't know. It, it, it the AZ is different. Hey, yeah, I it's like different. It. Flat out. We'll definitely be back. Yeah. Straight up, we fucks with it. Wife yeah. is trying to go hit the pool tonight. I want, <laughs> you know, I like the pool. I like water, y'all. It's I a, love water. Nine o'clock at night, and we want to go hit the pool. And she's trying to go hit the pool, so I do. We got. I don't know. <laughs> you ain't up. gonna make it. Who me? I yeah. go. I go. Oh, okay. All right. Straight up. <laughs> All right, but yeah, let's just jump on right it. Well, you want to give a synopsis of your week? A synopsis of my week. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, yes. Two day nigga. Rest of the week off. <laughs> that about sums it up. What's happening? And we here. <laughs> like, I had to do a pod before I leave. It, before I mean? left, Ill Max Showcast with Ski. That'll still be coming out. We did that early. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I jumped through a lot of hoops and, and shit just to keep my listeners. Consistency is the key. Listened up. Consistency. Because half these niggas be dipping on y'all ass and y'all be like, damn, <laughs> what I'm going to listen to. So, obviously, I need to be in the mix. Oh, Lord. Straight up. Yeah, I was too excited to get to this week. I'm like, I I mean, t- to this day, what I was off um, Friday. I took Friday off. Whew. Friday couldn't come quick enough. Friday couldn't come quick it enough. couldn't come quick enough. That's all I can say. Yeah, dealing with teenage and attitudes. Oh, Jesus, with everything. Work. Oh, these kids. Yeah, I told you. Whew. Indonesia. Just be with us and just pray for us, y'all, because these kids are. Indonesia. Oh, they something else. What? what? <laughs> All right, but yeah. In Indonesia to teach the kids how to, how to uh, learn English. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, anyway, let's get into the question of the week. Um, so the question of the week was, are women still cooking in 2021? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Let's talk, y'all. No. I got a lot of responses on this one. I'm so excited about this. Um, it's because you hit a, you struck a nerve. I, I see a lot of people feel within like they the, needed to. Within no, the community. Thank you y'all. For, thank y'all for responding. Uh, so the first response was JN84. He said, 
He said, it's a dying breed out here. Thank God I got a good one. Okay, shout out to you. Straight up, though. Hey, I got you and, uh, you and Kiki. Oh, uh, yeah. On the way to me, then I got to throw some stuff in there. I got some extra stuff I'm going to throw in there. Gonna send it to and y'all. then, um, yeah, it'll be on the way. I'll let y'all know when it's on the way. And then you had uh, simply underscore Kiara underscore. She said, oh, shout out to Kiki. She said, um, that's another Kiki. <laughs> she said, yes, of course. <laughs> Who the hell is she cooking for? Kiki still be cooking. Kiki don't be cooking. You don't think so? Kiki mama be cooking. You know, I, I hear what you're talking about now. Hear what I'm talking oh, about? Me. About the roomie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, oh, no. Kiki be cooking. She cooked some short ribs the other day. Keep talking now. She cooked, okay. Uh, she cooked some who? Some short ribs. She like boiled them uh, and then braised them. Oh, they looked really good. What, the, the ribs? The short ribs. She's supposed to bring something through, wasn't she? <laughs> she should have brought something on Wednesday, yeah. She's supposed to come. Uh, I can't hear you either. Oh, at Lord. All. Okay, now I can hear you. We're okay. back. Yeah. I'm fucking with your child, my bad. Right. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see this. Yeah. If you're not, you want to see all the mess ups, come on over to YouTube. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. All right, but yeah, okay, then we had um, Mr. Underscore Jeff G. He said they should be. Agree. Then you had, um, shout out to Jeff, too. Uh, Jeff make these sauces, and I um, I got a jalapeno sauce for him. And the only thing I figured that I can put on it right now, and that I love, every time I eat greens, I put it on there, Jeff. So if you listen, that's what I put my sauce on, my greens. <laughs> What, the sauce you got from him? The jalapeno sauce. Oh, it's fire on some greens. It's fire on some greens? Yes. Uh, then you got uh, D.M. Felton, too, which is Uncle Ski. Shout out to you. Uncle um, Ski. He said, no, not at all. Damn. Damn. Shit. He said C9. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. He said C9. That's what he called COVID-19, y'all. Um, Kill the spirit. Call G Ma. Man, women wasn't cooking way before COVID, bro. Listen, he said, call G Ma to get women back in the kitchen. He <laughs> got the shoulder shrug. G Ma, shit, G Ma nowadays is, is seven years older than the goddamn. You know what? <laughs> you just. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> the G Ma's ain't the G Ma's that we knew. They, they, that's not the case yeah, no more. They ain't. Mm. Grandma is different. That was all messed up. Yeah. Some sacrifices we know. <laughs> All right, then you got Arthur Lakia. Shout out to Kiki. You looked real cute today too, Kiki. Um, Kiki was out here uh, killing the ground. Out here was it yesterday? Uh huh. I saw my nigga Mike Rich going off. What he was going off for? What you know? What he was ranting about? Um, people be coming in making comments. Like you don't got to come and look at the uh, look at they damn. Oh uh, yeah. YouTube, if you don't want to, like it's free for you not to look at it too. <laughs> yeah, and then and then it be the watchers, like you know what? And like, shout out to all the watchers. Like you niggas don't like shit. You niggas don't subscribe. Oh to my shit. god, okay. You don't double tap. All you want to do is just come and see what's going on, and you out. Just watching, you gone. No support. You's a watching ass nigga. Shout out to you, man. Oh my god, we need but, y'all. Oh lord, all right. But um, Kiki said yes, ma'am. She said, I enjoy feeding my family home-cooked meals when I have time. I totally agree with that. I always agree with her. But that's my girl. But, yes, I agree with that. Yeah, Kiki, keep the uh, lamb chops in rotation. Oh, yeah, they like them. Y'all got us in them lamb chops. They fix them motherfuckers, like, for an appetizer. <laughs> that's how good they are. That's like you cook shrimp. And I fuck with the shrimp a long way all day. It's always Every on the day, menu. All day. Straight <laughs> up. Shrimp. <laughs> All right, then you got um, only one McQueen. This one had me cracking up. My nigga Osi, what it do? He said, "Not the modern woman of today. They don't even know what Barnes and Nobles is." Oh my God! They don't know how to read. They don't even know. <laughs> they don't even know what a book is. What the major? Like, come on. Yeah, dog. Oh, shout Sheesh. out to him. <laughs> you said she's. Damn, you got to go and older, bro. You gotta go older, bro. If that's the problem you're running into, you're gonna have to find you a uh you're gonna have to find you a a, a reading rainbow chick and she's gonna be at least 30, A reading rainbow chick. 39, 38, 37. You looking for somebody about 36 and over. She can she can read. 
Okay. She reads you a lullaby at night. Okay. I'm just saying, if you want, if you, look, I'm, my man said he they don't know how to read. If you look, you got to get a reading <laughs> reading rainbow chick. Got to be an 80s baby, man. You got to go a little bit older, my nigga. Whatever. All right, then. <laughs> you crazy. All right. You think I'm crazy. Watch. <laughs> then you had um, Miss Use underscore in abuse. Okay. Oh. Um, She said Use yes. Use in abuse. Damn, I hope she ain't doing the, the kings like that. Really? Jesus. Shut up, James. She said yes. Shout out to you. And then you had Wink Wink 84. Okay. She got her kink uh, cooking. Uh, wink, wink, eighty four. Uh, shout out to her. I went to school with her. Went to nursing school with her. Wink, wink. She said most definitely. All right. So, honey, just c- tell us how this all started. This conversation started with this um, question. I really don't even remember. <laughs> Straight up, I've been doing so much since I've we've been out of town this week. You have. You've I been don't working even know. Everything. Yeah, so James I don't know. say women don't cook no more, and I present it as. So we were watching. Who were we watching? We were watching that. The woman I can't think of the woman name. Oh, uh, Rashad uh, Ali. And we was watching her. Um, I can't say her name right, even if I find that's her. That's probably name. not right. But anyway, we were watching her, and she uh, there was this lady on there that was giving just a lot of. Wisdom about what women are and what and who who men are supposed to be and you know everything like that, and she was saying you know women don't cook in the kitchen no more and women don't cook. Right. Her name is Shah Shahrazad Ali. Women don't. He, the sister. How you how you doing, sister? <laughs> Shout out to her. She deep. Very deep. She she make you think about a lot of stuff. But the thing is, women had more time back in the day to cook. Women were at home more back in the day. Women, are, you know, we, we have full-time jobs just like men do. I totally agree that um, women should be cooking. I like to cook. I love to cook. It's the time that I don't have every day. Coming home at 7 o'clock in the, e- 6 o'clock in the evening. Trying to just spend a little bit of time with my husband. Right. Trying to make sure I got time for my children that still need me. At least the little baby, she do homework. The other ones, they don't they, they don't care about me. But, but it's the time aspect that women don't have anymore to do that meal prepping. And then we went into another question about what is cooking. Yeah. <laughs> but before you go there. Okay. Didn't women fight to work? We did. Don't give me, I mean. So you, we did. You, I mean, so was the plan to like start working and forget about the household, or you know what I'm saying? Let I me mean, know if I'm off somewhere. I don't I mean, know what the what if the plan if that was the plan. I mean, that's not my plan because I make sure my my family eats. So. Right. Well, like I mean, y'all can't use working as an excuse if y'all fought but to work. Though. Time that that has nothing to do with it. You just but you just said it like it has something to do with it because though. if we're comparing women cooking and back in the day. So women cooking now, women had a whole more a whole lot more time on their hands to do that stuff. Right, and what I'm saying to is, prep the meal, to cook the meal. Yeah, women, women fought for. Okay, we did to work though. But still, we still have to work, and we still have to provide. I mean, or you right. know, take care of. The so we're going back into women doing too many things to where they still can't take care of their house. Oh, okay, that's fine. So I can just not work then. If you don't want to work, then you ain't got to work. Okay, flat out. <laughs> you, I mean, I know you. You already. Got, oh, I'm putting I know your you ass got, out. You gonna put me out? You gonna have a job? You, well, in my motherfucking nah, hell, no. Nah. I ain't there yet. I'm trying to get us there. I'm just saying. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like y'all see, can't. You know, women, y'all come with the, y'all be coming with that bullshit. But man. I'm just saying, if I, I, I still cook. I even meal prep. I meal prep it. We, we both. I meal prep. Now I'm not doing no. I try to cook on Sundays, and I make sure I cook on Sundays. But I'm not doing no whole so. Food meal, yeah, cooking I mean, it from seven o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock. I'm just not. I mean, granted, not every, every day I'm doing it. I'm not doing it every day. Right. I mean, every meal back in the day wasn't a full course, soul food meal every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Flat out. Some days you might have you some uh, ham hock soup, and the other days you might have you some some uh, some chicken noodle soup, some meatloaf. 
Oh man, my grandma used to make this beef what we soup. Used to, uh, what's the one shit we used to eat? Vegetable soup. Sloppy Joe, Lord Jesus. Oh man, the kids like Sloppy Joe too. Well, that Sloppy they Joe me was a, a staple in the hood. <laughs> Straight up, they get old Sloppy Joe, sloppy man. Sloppy Joe. Oof. But yeah. But yeah, man. I mean, I totally agree that women should be out here cooking. Like, I don't understand why. What again? It's a case on case basis. Like, if you if if you a man that cook. Or you a man that really don't care oh, about right. your woman cooking, then you ain't looking for no chick to right. cook. Right? Then do you? Right. But, but if you know your girl don't cook, then like don't get with her and get married and then start complaining about her not cooking. Like nah. Yeah, because then that, that that's not okay. Yeah, that's what women do that to, to the kings all the time. So, but that's another podcast. Yeah, we're, we're talking about something totally right. You right? Okay, Stay so what course. is cooking? What is cooking? I feel like cooking is preparing a meal. That's not cooking. <laughs> that's not cooking. Oh, listen. That's preparing a meal. Preparing a meal. Right. That's not cooking. You have to prepare mm-hmm. the meal. You have to season the food. You have to cook the food. You have to serve the food. See, you doing too much. I'm cooking already. the food. I'm applying a raw. I'm I'm making something raw. The food is already cooked. Taking it from raw to, to cooked. What you mean? You get y'all get chicken breast in the bag already froze, already pre cooked. Y'all take that shit. Y'all want to throw that shit in the air fryer. They got chicken. Call that shit motherfucking air fried chicken breast. Cut it up, put some seasoning on it, and think y'all cooked a meal. No, that's not. I mean, it's it's cooked, right? Why why does the form of how I cook it makes a difference? Why why does that make a difference? It matters. What you mean? It matters. The form of how I cooked it. Why do you think it's a dunk contest? The form of how you dunk the ball matters. Okay, that's fine. That form don't have to be the same all the time, though. I might get a slam duck uh, yeah, one I, day. I mean, I said that. I said, like, it ain't a so, full course soul food meal every Okay, day. but if a woman decide, okay, if, if I'm frying uh, wings in the air fryer and I'm making macaroni and cheese and... Yeah, Green beans that's a meal. go with it. That's a meal. Right. No matter how that chicken got cooked, right? How many times a week you using the air fryer, though, sister? I use the air fryer a lot. It's a lot more healthier. <laughs> Ooh, boy. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to have a goddamn me cast iron challenge. Well, I tell you. Flat out. How many women can cook a meal in a cast iron skillet? Oh, okay. You know, we, if we're going to go here with women cooking, what about me and, me and fixing those stuff and stuff? I mean... What? What is that? They don't do that no more. Uh, we get shit done. No, nah, they call. Yeah. Bob, Jack, and, and and Larry over there to fix it for them. We get shit done. Right, and we get shit done too. Then. Oh, uh, no. Nah. If that's the case. Y'all, y'all holler down the man, for themselves tonight. I don't know what y'all gonna do. <laughs> right out. I do that every now and then. Yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. I I'm like I cooked yesterday, which is fine. You know what I'm saying. I cooked yesterday. Look, so I'm not trying to. Man. I'm not trying to put no Listen, pressure on the queens. I got teenagers. Y'all can. Y'all can do what y'all do. I feel you. Okay. I ain't got no. I ain't trying to put no pressure on the queens. I fuck with the queens the long way. Okay, good. I'm just saying, pull that cast iron <laughs> skillet out a little bit more. Put that air fryer. Down. I mean, as long as we know how to use that cast iron skillet, and we use it every if now. You and don't then. know how to use. If you, if boy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, it's cast. Boy, if your woman ain't got no cast iron skillet, you need to pack your shit and run. Nigga. That's not okay. You can't tell people that. That's <laughs> not okay. Yes, I can, man. Don't listen to him, y'all. Boy, all right. Don't let me right. Don't listen to me. Listen, James. <laughs> when Shirley bring you that goddamn plate at work and you end up with a piece of styrofoam in your mouth from that plate, don't say shit. Cause you know you can't take that shit home. That's the why y'all be mad when when your man brings somebody else cooking home. I mean, surely to fix the whole soul I food meal. I never had that happen. So I don't know. Flat out, and then it better not ever. <laughs> That's not okay, fellas. We, we upstairs in the room, and you see our plate in the plastic bag. So you done opened up our bag and tasted the cornbread, and you know it tastes better than your shit. So now you coming upstairs mad at me talking about who the fuck cooked this food? Such Get this ass. shit out of my house. I know how y'all operate. Ass, ass, ass. I know how y'all operate. Okay, y'all. Let's move on from the question. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for answering. That was all the answers. That was it, yeah. Shout out to y'all for answering, man. I appreciate y'all. Eight responses today. Thank y'all. 
Um, Kiki and uh, JN eighty four. Yes, you know, yeah, yeah. shirts. I let you know when they're on the way. <laughs> um, dang, what was I finna say? Oh, so James trying to smoke. He's trying to uh, <laughs> quit smoking cigarettes. So his agitation level is like one fifty, right? Okay. So we gets to the Airbnb that we're in. No, nah, you're not finna leave like that. <laughs> what you mean? You're not finna leave like that. What are you talking about? You're not finna leave like that. So we get to the Airbnb, right? And like, it's all this different stuff you gotta do. You turn left, turn right. It's a whole like manual that you gotta read to get into the into the apartment. So I didn't know how to do some stuff. He irritated. He hot. He tired. And he ready to go off. So he ain't going to say nothing because he know if he go off. So we gets in the, gets to the door. And it's a and it's a different type of key too. Like these Airbnbs, like do something totally different. But um, you, he we get in, and he like we ain't doing this no more. And I'm like, what you talking about? It's a lot. Why are we not doing this no more? It's a lot. He's yeah. not because you don't know nothing. What the hell you mean? I don't know nothing. Yeah, you ain't no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no I'm, shit. I'm confused nah, as to why okay. I didn't know nothing, and I'm okay. the only one reading these directions. Okay, and you know, going through this process while he waiting, holding the bags. I sh- I should have just took it that, and I didn't take it this way. I'm like, I'm not thinking about that. All I know is he said I don't know shit. You see how the queens do. And I got an attitude. And I'm like, what you mean? I don't know nothing. This mm-hmm. start, we mm-hmm. walked in the door, and then we both got attitudes. <laughs> he didn't have to go outside and smoke a cigarette. I ain't had no cigarette. Oh, you ain't had no cigarette. He didn't have to go outside and cool off anyway. Right. But, um. Man, yeah, look, this is the thing. We quickly made up. But, yeah, he this, had this his, the thing. his agitated ass. This is the thing, though. What was the thing? First of all, picture this. One black man. <laughs> Four bags One bag so damn heavy We had to pay an extra hundred dollars Just to get that bitch on the Oh plane. my god this Wait why we have to do that Because my husband Want to use this big ass bag we got This is a good bag We're going to use it <laughs> Good bag Man I'm trying to get as much as possible I'm trying not to pay for two bags We ended up paying for four bags <laughs> But still right. Anyway <laughs> Nigga Hell nah I got 1500 pounds on me <laughs> Dry, not even wet. Oh my Dry, fifteen hundred pounds. It was lighter. Then. I'm out here looking like Mufasa <laughs> in the airport. What? Mu, freaking fast. I'm looking like Mufasa carrying all these damn bags, right? So, I understand she don't know. I had a bag. She too. called to live, and I. <laughs> called to live. See, she's trying to get me riled up. That's what she's trying to do. I'm not going to give her the, the satisfaction <laughs> tomorrow Sunday. The come Lord on. Day. Come on. You're uh, so silly. <laughs> I'm not so, trying to do this. Yeah, I'm like, all right, bet. So, you know, she called to live. You know what I'm saying? We waiting on to live. We get her. It's like somebody knowing the storm coming <laughs> and ain't boarded up none of their damn windows. But then told Joe ass to come over here for shelter. Like, nigga, why did you tell me to come over here for shelter? And you don't even know what the fuck you're doing. You ain't got shit ready. So that's how I was coming into the building. You didn't know no code. You would think she have all codes saved to her phone. She, she reading three page emails <laughs> trying to find four four number codes in it. I was. While we standing here waiting to get in the spot. Like, you got to be more prepared than that. Like, she, you knew where we was coming. You knew this day was coming. I didn't know it was so detailed. Like you I mean, I read it, coming. but I thought it would be easier than what it was. I don't know. It was, it was a lot. It was so detailed. It was a lot. Yeah. yeah. On top of being somewhere where you know you're not, so you would think you would want to know the details before you even got there. So that way, the 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 but being you know, in a different spot wouldn't even. 
bother you. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? While I'm out here looking like I'm smooth faster with. I mean, we both could have just. 1,500 pounds worth of bags you on. You know what? No water. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't sweating, was you? No, nah, I, I mean, yeah, 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 I was sweating. No, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was sweating profusely. Profusely uh, sweating? Profusely perspiring. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the episode. <laughs> that is not. You can't even not name my. I was profusely uh, perspiring, dog. Okay. But yeah. yeah. But yeah. But after that, you know, we've been having a wonderful time. Like, it's 9 o'clock at night. I'm real relaxed. Yeah, you ready to go to sleep? I'm not, dog. We got to go to the pool. You capping. You ain't going to go to the pool. I'm not. We going to that pool. All right. Okay, y'all. But let's move on. Cause let's get, we got to get a little, uh, make, put some hand claps or something, baby. Okay, who we clapping for first? I don't know, you know us. You be cooning. I ain't, I ain't with that. I be cooning. We ain't gonna talk about that. It's a whole another podcast. Come on, who, who, who we clapping he for? I'm, I'm cooning because I'm clapping for us. Polite for us. Put the claps on. All right, the claps on. Shout out to us. Okay. Shout out to us. I ain't got nothing to say. Just shout out to us. <laughs> I'm trying to wake it up. A little bit. All right. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, baby. Listen, did I tell you what KK said the other day about a ghost telling her, hey? She saw a ghost? Baby, she said she was in the basement. When we went to Ski Lope, uh house. Uh-uh. There was a ghost over there? No. She ain't go. Oh. Uh, she stayed at home. But that herself? girl said she was in the basement putting the clothes in the washer. <laughs> and said, something said hey to her. Uh-huh. I said, when I say I was dying laughing. Something said hey to you. She's like, yeah, really? I think it's a ghost. I'm like, I'm so serious. Have we looked up the history of that house? Mm-mm. Because Ariel says Rebecca. That's the ghost name. They, The kids named the ghost. Yeah, they named the ghost. Ever since Rebecca. we moved in that house, they said Rebecca been in that house. <laughs> well, you should look it up. Look it up the history. I'm yeah. scared to. Oh, Lord. So I've been looked up the history, and that motherfucker won't be able to sleep not a now another day in there. <laughs> He gonna tell everybody. He gonna scare the hell well, out of everybody. We gonna be burning sage, wearing <laughs> garlic necklaces, everything in there. Everybody gonna have to have a cross on. Mm It's time to christen this household. Mm-mm. I ain't going for it. That's a lot. I told that girl that goes. I said, "Kiki, ain't nobody told you no damn hey." Shout out to my Uber dude too, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, oh, yeah. I got me an Uber dude out here. You Shout know what I'm saying? To, uh-uh. He uh live. Oh, he live. Yeah. Okay. But shout out to him, cause yeah, he can help out us him. out. He a real one. He gave us some true facts. Did y'all know? Uh huh. That the fair house, the fair housing act, it didn't come about in Arizona until 1980. So the fair housing act is is what allows black people to buy houses. You know, in all in all areas, baby. Well, Arizona didn't have one until 1980. Yeah, you couldn't buy a house where the what? white people stayed until 1980. They didn't put the fur. What the? What? Yeah. Why are you acting so surprised? I mean, man? but dang, 1980, though? Yes, nigga. That's, I'm surprised. I'm I'm very much surprised. Don't you know a nigga got hung, like, last week? They just using bullets now. They ain't using ropes no more. Okay. Yeah. Come on, now. Stay woke, sister. Dang. You know what I'm saying? But 1980, I, I didn't expect to to hear. You 1980. didn't expect niggas to be getting hung in 2021 either. To be getting killed, hung. Okay. Flat out. You're right. I I mean, you're right. No, I didn't. Yeah, but I mean, that is why. But he said it's a lot of people that still got their mindset down here, right. being that it happened so late. Right. But you know. Mm 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 mm. Shout out to Arizona. <laughs> Keeping Shout that, out to him, shit. Keeping that shit real. All right, but I got a question for you. I don't want you niggers over here. <laughs> What's up? All right. So what if I was to go to jail, right? Right. Would you hold me down while I was in jail? I think we asked this question before. Did we? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I hold you down. How long are you finna be locked up though? It does does I mean that makes a difference? Yeah, okay, look. I think we're talking about that making a difference. More than a year on smashing some, I'm letting you know. Off, we ain't talk, We talked about, that's what we talked about, having sex with your partner in, if, if your partner was in jail or something. 
But like Hold me down Like you got everything I mean When I come home You got me Yeah I got you Okay So This nigga I hold up though I asked you how long You locked up I don't for. know I can have 10 years Oh yeah 10 years I got you. I mean Just know I already know Yeah I'm gonna be out here smashing I'm probably have like Two more Three more kids Oh shit the camera ain't on Two or three more kids. Well, I won't be able to be. Oh shit! Uh, I won't be able to be with you. Why not? Just hold me down until I get out, nigga. If I'm holding you down, sending you money and stuff, what is the problem with me knocking some women? You gonna up? have some damn kids? It's ten years. That mean you gotta have kids though. I probably won't have no kids. I probably had one child. I'm not. Mm-mm. Okay. So you don't want my hell down. This, this hold what you me saying. down. Just hold me down. Nah, that's all. To that's hell what with I'm you. <laughs> hold me down. To hell with you, dog. You motherfucking work in the boot boot spot. You gonna sit here and you and gonna put, have a baby? You can put the rubber on boots and live your life. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I ain't gotta hold you down. Have a damn baby. So on you come say the money and you mad because I done just got got uh I done messed up one time. Done slipped up. That's what you gonna call it. A slip, anyway, a slip up. So on couples retreat. Right. Oh, you can talk about I don't know if Matt, I watch it. Matt I mean, DC. I don't watch it, but I just have been hearing about it. Yes. Yeah, it was a big thing on the socials. So he was like, he don't know if he would have held her down if, like, she held him down. Now he tried to come and clean it up and say that, you know, of course he'll hold her down. You know, he just don't know the circumstances of what might happen or you know whatever might what might go on. Yeah. Like. But the fact that you had to, like, this girl held you down. Like, she already showed you who she was. She did. I, I would have thought, I mean, you would think that it would have made that a whole lot better. Does that, is that? I mean, it, does, know, Is that not how it goes? Well, this is the thing. Well, tell me the thing, please. It, the nigga didn't think before he spoke. Not at all. And that's the issue. If he would have thought before he spoke, he would he spoke before he spoke. Uh-huh. He would have knew, nigga. You better say yeah. Just say yeah. It'll save you a lot of heartache and pain. Even if you lie, huh? Even if you're not. Mm, Even if you mm, don't think mm, you're mm. capable, you say yes. If a woman held you down and you'd have been locked up and you get out and she asked you, would you have did the same for me? Nigga, you say yes. Even if you lie. <laughs> There's no, and no, and but why no, and no why circumstance. Why does it even have to be a lie? She already showed you who she was. Though. In no circumstance do you say no. Maybe it depends. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Lied out. I mean, <sighs> don't lie to me. He might not be lying. I mean, he might. He. The problem is, he was being truthful, and men can't be truthful when it comes to certain things. But I'm saying, I... he being truthful. He might not be as strong as she was. Mm, mm, mm. But the fact that she did it would just like be like, like without a doubt. It's what. It's what I would think. That's just me. Right. I'll be like, okay, without a doubt. Right. I I ain't even got to think about it. See, now, I mean, but this is when you, you know, this is when apples start looking a lot like oranges. Okay. As far as decisions that men make. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, kings, don't shoot me down. Men get, some uh, some men get a chance to cheat several times. Uh-huh. When a woman cheats, he gone. Oh, Yeah. There you go. Don't, y'all don't stay at all. Man get locked up. Women hold him down. He get out. Women ask, would you hold me down like I held you down? He say, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Does it, we consistent in that. That's not okay. Yeah, it's not okay. Then, you know, the, uh, the breakfast club song. <laughs> Let's start talking about Papoose and how he should have learned from him. Like, you ain't learned. From who, Papoose? From Papoose. Remy was locked up for a long time, too. I don't even know how long she was, but yes, she was. She was locked up for a long time. Boy, Papoose was there. Yeah. Loved his boo. Well, he a real nigga, boy. <laughs> Straight what up. I you? mean, they out here. I mean, yeah, of course. They are. Right out. Hmm. All them down, depending on how many years you got. <laughs> depending Straight up. How you going to keep on saying it, huh? What? Depending on how many years I got. Fan, ain't no point in me holding you down for life. I ain't gonna see you again. You, <laughs> you, you gotta hold your damn self down. You need to. Whatever, James. <laughs> yeah, you need to make your relationship stronger with the Lord at this point, man. Dang. 
You got life? I mean, I'm going to still come and see you. Oh, I'll definitely come and see you. It's so sad. But damn, like, you got to think. Somebody got to come and see you for the rest of the rest of their life. Mm. Like, that's a lot, man. Yeah. All right. Out. What you got, baby? Um, I ain't really got a lot. I like you did I, say you had a lot. I got, I want to know when, 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 like, when is it time to get new shoes? <laughs> now, it was two Caucasian oh. uh, descendants on the plane. And I'm talking about my boy had on some Adidas. He said Caucasian and <laughs> descendants. The, the souls was coming off the thing. Now, I got the video. What's the souls coming off? I'm going to plug the video in the thing. Oh, my God. I hope it's ain't nobody. It listen. was him and it was another dude right in front of him. Shoes just dirty as hell. Really? Why don't white people care about their shoes? They don't care. And is that like a, is that like a, they like they rock it like it's a status symbol. I mean, if your soul's coming off, it's time to get some more shoes. Like, I don't care how cheap you want to be or how frugal you think you need to be. If your soles are coming off and you can afford to buy some shoes, you shouldn't be wearing them. I mean, I'm saying, if the niggas move like, nigga, the dirtier your shoe, the more money you got. And they probably, I have no idea. Shoes is dirty as hell, man. They, that's just something they don't care about. Like in black, like we care about shoes. I mean, we. I don't want no dirty shoes on. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I just. Yeah, but I mean, and it's is so that funny. A, is that a psychological thing for black people? Not to have dirty shoes on. I don't want to be dirty at all, though. Your shoes ain't got nothing to do with your body. My clothes, my clothes, my shoes. I don't want it to be dirty. Your clothes either. Babe, people come. Oh. I mean, it's some people who wear dirty ass clothes, but I'm just saying. <laughs> the shoes. I don't know if it's if it's a psychological thing or not. For white people, I just I don't know. I can only speak for myself. Yeah. I'm not white, so I don't know. I just wanted to know why black people go so hard with the fashion and like white people just be so relaxed with their shit. And it's a, I think it's a money thing too. It'd be a nigga with some J's on walking to go get in the lift and the white man with, mm-hmm. with some dingy mm-hmm. ass shoes on walking on the yacht. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like. They put their money in different places. Sheesh. That's an issue. Yeah. You put it where you, it, it, it tells you where you put your money into. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You think we should do a challenge? What's a challenge? You rock one pair of shoes for a whole year. For a year, they gonna f- mine's gonna start leaning to the side every day. I couldn't do it outside of work. One pair of shoes. I, so I got some work shoes. You got some work shoes, and then I wear one pair. You can only wear one pair of work shoes and one pair out. Then you got two pair of shoes for a whole year. Well, that ain't gonna work because you can't wear the same shoes in the same weather, right? Like I can't wear my my Vans in the snow. Well, you better put them damn Uggs on in July. <laughs> Where am I? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> At least you'll be comfortable. You're Straight right, because I love, I love my Uggs, but I can put them Uggs on for house shoes. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, white people wild with that one. That is so funny. Um, Then, you know, no disrespect. This is for my kings. What happened to the bad stewardess bitches? Like, it ain't. Really? Boy, it was AARP on American Airlines <laughs> on my way over here. I'm like, what the hell? Diamond wife going back to be a uh, to be a flight attendant. Who? Diamond wife, my cousin. Oh, uh, straight up. Yep, she a flight attendant. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, she too cute. It ain't no. But ain't she no, married, so. I mean, you know, I know that was an early thing for like when they first started doing the planes, like a marketing thing in the seventies and shit like that. Oh, uh, when it was young. Yeah, they had a young, women. had a young the uh, stewardess and shit on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With they blind big curls and shit, looking like they fresh off the grease set. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Flat out. Uh, With the short skirts on. That's what that's what it was in, huh? Boy, it looked like it was, we was in the Catholic service. We were. We had a whole bunch of old women bumping into you. I'm like, what the? I'm I had an owl seat. Oh. I see. We couldn't sit together. The wifey was over there trying to grab on everything that we couldn't move. Ooh, 
Jesus when they're playing. To, I, it's just when it takes off and it lands. I'm like, oh, it, it's, I was trying to stop. Which, you know how you stop with your foot? Right. <laughs> She I was felt, tripping. I felt myself reaching for the other girl, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." Yeah, wifey don't fly. <laughs> no, she I don't, don't like, like to fly. I don't like it at all. I'm afraid of, like that. I don't know. Is that? Uh, I don't know what it is. That fear. Straight up. But when we in the sky, I'm okay. But I, I just, I just be thinking. I'm anticipating the the landing. I got into. I, I know it's gonna come. So, come on, just get ready. Yeah, man. Um, but. The airport period is trash, man. The airport period, man. The airport period is trash. Like, I'm so tired of the airport. Look, he I think it's just getting, I guess you got to get back acclimated. <laughs> like, because I do want to travel more. But, like, I'm talking about these niggas pull you to the side, pull your stuff out. I they didn't pull out this whole machine. They didn't pull the mics out the case and tried to see if I had cocaine on my shit. Right, he didn't. Wiped them with an alcohol, look like an alcohol pad. Like, fam, this we is. We like, what the hell? I'm talking about that. I, I I ain't even did shit wrong, feeling like I didn't just kill three people. And I'm like, you for real? He like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, this shit trash, man. It's a lot, man. Yeah. I can see why a lot of people like driving. It takes yeah. longer, but it's a it's a. And a I am more not personal. not coming back to Arizona again without having a car. This is not a state. Yeah. Where you can run around on buses and, and trains and no. You need a car. You need a vehicle to get around. Hey, we're supposed to get on that by state. We out here looking homeless and shit. By state. <laughs> Walking across the street to the Walgreens and shit. <laughs> so it last was, it was night, bad, man. when we went to go get our burgers and stuff, we had to go get some drinks. We had to get burgers. Yeah, we had to get coffee so. and shit. Y'all see that Trapping on the Road season four? Is it season four? Season three or season four coming out wow. this week. I already got the first episode done. Trapping on the road. Trapping on the road. I work fast. I just ain't putting it out right now because I ain't be putting on it vacation. Out right yeah. But yeah, we went uh, to the store and we had to, uh, <laughs> so we went to the liquor store. Then we had to go to Walgreens. Walgreens was across the street. And we, we, well, we ordered our food first. So we came back from Walgreens. We had like four bags and I <laughs> Yeah, he was out there looking homeless, too. <laughs> James say, I bet these people think we homeless. Yeah, they like, think we why homeless. Why would you say that, though? Because they do. It wasn't nobody walking. It wasn't nobody walking. Uh, look, ain't nobody walking out here. It's very clean out here. Um, it was two girls walking. We saw two girls walking. Kids. They were kids. I don't know where the hell they was going. But, yeah, man. Um, it's not it, a walking city. It's Nate the Great fault. Nate the Great was supposed to be here. Uncle Nate was supposed to be he here. He's supposed to be our damn tour guide. Tour guide slash chaperone. No, we ain't never been here before. And this nigga didn't come. He ain't coming until tomorrow, so. Tomorrow night at that. Yeah, it was too Nate. late. It was At that point, rentals was sky high because we was already here. Right, and we trying to we order a rental yesterday. That. No. So, you know, we just been rocking with my nigga. Yeah. Flat out. He good peoples. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I ain't got nothing else. Yeah, let's go. All right, make sure y'all go follow us on uh, IG, Mr. and Mrs. Mac 314. Make sure you go follow Urban Access Network on YouTube um, to follow all the podcasts. Um, make sure you go follow uh, the Ill Mac Showcast with Ski. And yeah. make sure you like, subscribe on YouTube, y'all. Flat out. Also, our supplemental needs are done on FNX Fit. You can go use code T I R V F N X T I R V and get fifteen percent off. You know what I'm saying? To get That's all your supplement needs. F N X T I R V is the code. You feel me? They got the turmeric, y'all. They got the apple cider vinegar gummies. Every, you know what? They Those got, apple cider vinegar gummies are great, y'all. Y'all need to use them. Yeah, they got them. They got uh, they got the kids multi kids multivitamin. Yep. It's a lot of stuff on there. They got there, a lot man. of y'all stuff need to on there now. Shit. And support niggas, man. Make sure y'all support. Straight up. Uh, bye. Bye, y'all. Make sure y'all love on each other. Y'all. <laughs>